This power-up turns Mario into a ninja, and this one makes Mario a ghost. Today, we're looking at 20 power-ups that need to be in Mario Maker 3. The only thing better than Mario is more Marios. The Double Cherry creates a clone of Mario that moves exactly with him. The clones even share other power-ups like Fire Flowers. The Double Cherry would be great for puzzle courses where you need to maneuver multiple characters to open a door, or when you need more firepower for a level with hordes of enemies. If running into the fight hurling fireballs isn't your thing, check out the Ninja Power-Up. Ninja Mario can climb up walls and throw ninja stars at his foes. This power-up would be a fantastic way to make a sneaky stealth type of level where Mario must avoid being seen by certain enemies while he moves through the course. Potted piranha plants might not be what we think of as a traditional power-up, but these chompy vines have a lot to offer. Mario can pick up and carry the plant, and it will eat most enemies and even grab green stars. I hope Nintendo will add green stars or star coins in Mario Maker 3, and this item would be perfect to help hunt down these hard-to-reach collectibles. It would also be hilarious in multiplayer if potted piranha plants could chomp the other players while Mario tries to run to the end. We have cloud blocks and the sky theme, but why not add the cloud power-up? Cloud Mario can create temporary platforms with the cloud flower, but can only make three clouds at a time before needing to grab a new one. This can help Mario get that tasty coin snack he sees in the distance, or explore high areas in a level. I don't know about you, but Hammer Bros have provided me with countless deaths over the years. Well, I think it's time we turn the tables. With the Hammer Suit, Mario can throw hammers just like Hammer Bros. Right now, the closest thing we have is Yoshi licking hammers and spitting them back in Mario Maker 2, but I want true vengeance on these Hammer Bros by giving them a taste of their own medicine. Sometimes I just want to obliterate the entire level that the creators worked so hard to build. Does that make me evil? The Mega Mushroom makes Mario huge and allows him to walk over and destroy blocks and enemies in his path. It would be really satisfying to find this power-up in a hidden block and then completely obliterate a boss in a single hit. On the other extreme, we need to mention the Mini Mushroom. This tiny fungus makes Mario small with a floatier jump, lets him run on water, and he can enter smaller areas like tiny pipes. One of the biggest problems in Mario Maker 2 is that lives and power-ups can feel like they don't really matter. The Mini Mushroom is a unique way to grant Mario a power-up early on in a level, and if he doesn't take damage, reward him with a room of sweet, sweet gold. Whenever I ask anyone what power-ups they'd like to see, the Ice Flower always comes up. Ice Mario can throw ice balls to freeze his enemies. The freeze mechanic is awesome to immobilize enemies and to create frosty weapons to throw. Mario can even create a platform where there wasn't one before. If we're gonna add the ice flower, let's take it a step further and add the penguin suit. This power-up is everything amazing about the ice flower, but Mario also turns into a penguin and can slide on ice and on water without sinking. I would love to see a level where you need to switch between sliding across water and running while throwing ice balls to showcase this unique power-up. The Link power-up and the Super Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom are cool and all, but we really need to bring back the Mystery Mushroom. With this power-up, Mario transforms into Costume Mario, which has many variations on which costume he can wear. While this mushroom is purely for looks, it gives makers and players more options for the character they play as, and it adds so much potential to build themes into your courses. The weird mushroom being missing from Mario Maker 2 is, well, weird. Weird Mario becomes taller and skinnier and also gets a higher jump. I'll be honest and say this power-up is not the most unique or useful thing in the world, but I think Mario Maker 1 had so much charm because of how strange it was, and adding the weird mushroom will help bring back that silly feeling to Mario Maker 3. When we think of blue shells, we typically think of the extremely frustrating item in Mario Kart that ruins your race even though you were in first place the entire time. Oh, sorry I got carried away. The blue shell power-up in Mario Maker 3 could turn Mario into Shell Mario, and then he can Shell Dash, making him invulnerable to most things. I would love to see a speedrun level where you need to get in and out of the shell slide to blast through enemies in a tight space and utilize the bouncing properties to maintain speed in both directions. Everyone has imagined being invisible at some point, so why not bring that power to Mario Maker 3? The Vanish Cap turns Mario into Vanish Mario for 20 seconds. He can walk through enemies, fences, and certain walls. The Vanish Cap would be so fun for speedrun levels to have to pass through all the enemies quickly, or as a great addition to puzzle levels to move through the right walls to get an item. Speaking of hot power-ups, where is the Metal Cap? Metal Mario becomes invulnerable and extremely heavy and can even walk underwater. 
The metal cap could allow Mario to walk straight through twisters and ignore many water enemies. Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 are some of my favorite games of all time. We need more power-ups from these iconic games, like the Rock Mushroom. The Rock Mushroom lets Mario encase himself into a boulder to roll around and jump, damaging enemies and destroying blocks. This power-up would be amazing to roll across spikes and to break through blocks to reveal hidden rooms with treasure inside. The Bee Mushroom is another amazing power-up from the Galaxy series. Bee Mario can fly for a limited time and climb honey walls, but if Mario touches water, he loses the power-up. I see this power-up as a fun way to create a technical don't-touch-the-water style, of course, where Mario needs to use precise flying and strategy to make it through. This next power-up sparked some interesting debates in the Mario community, but is a really cool power-up on its own. The Super Crown. This can transform Toadette into Peachette, which has a double jump in mid-air and a floating jump. I would love to see this power-up as a way to change up the gameplay in a regular course, or to make levels easier for more beginner players. Speaking of making things easier, we need to add in the Invincibility Leaf. Nothing makes Mario more overpowered than becoming invincible, filling the P-meter faster than normal, and having all of Raccoon Mario's powers. I would also love to be able to implement a system like in Super Mario 3D World, where as a maker you can have this power-up appear after the player has died a certain amount of times. This can give them a chance to make progress in your course without getting too frustrated and quitting. We all know the best thing to do in Mario 64 was to punch Goombas right in the face. Wait, that was just me? The Karate Mushroom lets Mario punch and jump kick enemies. This would make for some really fun fighting types of levels, like a boss rush where you can only punch and kick your way through all the battles. Boos are classic Mario enemies, so why not let Mario become one in Mario Maker 3? With the Boo Mushroom, Mario can float in mid-air and move through specific types of barriers, but also attracts boos towards him. I love the idea that Mario can fly around an arena to explore and find the way forward, but also has the drawbacks of boos chasing him to make it balanced. Speaking of boos, one of the enemies we most need in Mario Maker 3 is the Boo Block. To see 30 new enemies we need in Mario Maker 3, click the video on the screen right now. Please subscribe so Nintendo will hire me. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.